Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. Today, I want to talk to you about Flyway and some new functionality we have coming out for MySQL. Let's take a look at this project that I've already created. Now, this is a MySQL project with a number of database objects already in it. And what's going on is it's loading up the project and then it's connecting to my local MySQL database, the my development database, to find out if I've done any work. Now, at this point in time, I have not done any development work. So let's go ahead and go do some. Now, if I open up dBeaver, I'm going to create a new table. I've got the antenna table that I want to add to my database. So we'll go ahead and run that script and create the antenna table. Now, the antenna table already has a uh, artificial key, but I want to have a unique uh, art, uh, natural key to enforce uniqueness on the table. So we'll go ahead and run that. We've got an index on here. And then we've got a foreign key that we need on this table as well. So we'll go ahead and create that foreign key. So now we have done some development work. So let's go back over and see the new Flyway functionality. Now, the new Flyway functionality is going to run a comparison between what it already has in source control and the objects I've got in my database. Now, you saw me create some new objects in the database, and there they are. This thing then found that I've created a table. The table has got a, a unique key, that there is an index, and that there is a foreign key. And so now we can bring all of these things into my MySQL Flyway project. So I'm going to save these out to the project. And it's basically just getting those objects that I've created, getting the scripts that define them, and applying it into the database so it's ready to go. When it gets done, it's going to check again to see if there's been any more development work. There has not been. Now, at this point, if I'm done working, I can go ahead and, and commit my changes to my source control system. But right now, what I want to do is I want to generate migration scripts. Now, this is the new functionality that we're talking about. Not only are we capturing individual object changes within MySQL, we're going to generate the migration scripts for you. Now, these migration scripts can be edited. If you needed to edit this in order to come up with a complete migration, you could, but you don't need to in most cases because we're going to have generated it for you. So here's now the migrations that we've got. It's going to create all of the objects that we've that we've defined within our project. So I'm going to go ahead and mark those off and say, yes, these are the ones I want. I'm going to generate those scripts. It's going to calculate the changes based on a shadow database, a second database that's there strictly for development purposes. And from that, it is going to then generate the new migration script. And there they are. Now, one thing I didn't mention when I was setting this up, because I wanted to keep it as a surprise for you, not only is it generating new migration scripts, and there you see create table, alter table, add the primary key, create the index, all of the stuff that we needed for this table definition, it has, but it also generated the undo script. So all of this stuff is now in there and I can save this. And so I've now put together a full set of changes ready to go. Well, let's go ahead and commit them. Now this is gonna commit locally. So I'm just gonna say new development done. You always wanna make sure you mark your files. I'm going to go ahead and commit these. And then with those committed, I could then push them up to a central repository and continue going with all of my normal stuff. Now, here's where it gets interesting because Flyway Desktop is this interface that helps you, right? It gets your individual objects into source control. It gets all of your you know changes over time, helps you generate migrations, works with your source control system, and basically takes care of you and gets you through your day. But we've got some additional functionality built into Flyway I want to show off right now. Now, we've got here is just I've, I'm open up in Visual Studio, so I can run the command line for Flyway. Now, the one thing I want to show you in this case is the fact that we can look for changes inside of our Flyway database. Now, this is going to compare what I've got so far for my scripts and what is currently already in my production server. So let's go ahead and run that. Remember, this is a command line, 
So that means I could automate this through a flow control tool, whether I'm talking Jenkins, Octopus, Azure Developer Tools, um, or sorry, Azure DevOps or AWS Developer Tools. Any one of these could run this script. But now it's looking through this, it's rebuilt the script, and it's come out with a report letting me know what's going on. And I can take a look at this report. It's just HTML. So I can open it right up, go into here, and open it up directly through my browser because it is just a browser. It is just HTML. And it's going to show all the various things that have not yet been deployed. And so you see the table we created here, antenna, but also a number of other tables that have not yet gone into production because we haven't done a deployment to production recently. Now we've got all of the objects that we can see, objects that were added, deleted, modified, Everything that's in there, we can take a look through it and validate exactly what it is, exactly the scripts that are going to be used. And all of this can be completely automated through your command line utility. So let's go ahead and do that too. Let's go back over here to my deploy. And let's go ahead and say, you know what? I want to deploy um, my changes. There we go. So all we got to do is define where we're going, which is I'm using my flyway prod configuration file that's right here and all that's doing is, is showing you where to go you know it's showing the the jdbc url necessary to get to my database and with that it can then make the deployment happen so let's go ahead and make the deployment happen so my, now all of my outstanding migrations are now completed and if we were to go back and check the changes again, we can do that. Of course, we can check as many times as we need to. It's going to go and validate all of the changes on a local database. That's what it's doing now. And then it's going to validate and see which one of those are different to see if there's been any changes made. And the fact is, is that we can see it right down here in the report, added zero, deleted zero, modified zero. It knows that we are now up to date. So this new functionality, wherein through Flyway Desktop, we can generate all of your objects. We can, oh, and by the way, it, I'm outputting directly into my uh, folder here, and it captured that information as well, so we can make sure that we've committed that to my source control. But it's generating all of my objects. It's capturing those things. It's building the migrations for me to help me out. And all of this is do doable through command line interfaces so that we can automate the entire thing. In short, we've got everything we need to take MySQL and do the same kind of stuff we've done with Postgres, with Oracle, and with SQL Server. That's it. My name's Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. Thanks for watching.